Today's lesson focuses upon polarized images. We're going to use our phones, non-polarized sunglasses, and a bunch of pieces of plastic to go from this to this. All right, let's get going. All right, now that you've seen the pictures that we've made, let's see how we actually make them. So you'll see right in here, we've got a bunch of different plastic items. We've got a tape dispenser that comes apart, really important. We have a cup that we actually cut in half because you don't wanna have two layers that you're going through. We have some cellophane that we're gonna shoot. We've got a plastic bag. So I've got the camera set up here. I've got my computer screen set up here and I'm gonna make sure that it is 90 degrees, 90 degrees. The next thing that you have to make sure of is that your screen is as bright as it's gonna go. So if you look at your bar and it's not as bright as you can go, make sure that your screen is bright. Now the next thing that you wanna have is a white background, super important. So download from the internet, just go to Google, type in white, download a white square, then open it on your computer screen. Now on the Mac, you can see that we can open this in preview And then we can go full screen right here, enter full screen. Now it's not gonna be full screen with the image right away until I go command plus. So we're gonna expand the white image so it fills up our screen. Now I've got my camera set up so I'm gonna see my complete computer screen right here. I also have a little stand that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna make sure that when we use this, it's an old Apple box right there. I'm just gonna place it and I'm gonna put it back right to the screen. And I'm gonna use this, and I'm gonna have that front edge covered. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my tape, place it, and if you come in close, you'll see that we're just gonna have it touch the computer screen. So now that we've got our tape dispenser sitting right against the screen, we're gonna sit down, line up our image on our camera, and then we're gonna talk about the sunglasses and how we're gonna make sure that we use these properly. All right, so I've got this lined up. I'm gonna zoom in so I can get rid of that background or the bottom so we don't see the computer screen and or sorry, rather we don't see the computer keyboard. And I'll just adjust this just a little bit. There we go. So I'm gonna set my focus. Now we take a pair of sunglasses and the key here is that these are non-prescription. If they were prescription, it's gonna make it that much harder. Find your camera lens, mine's down here. And if you come around here, you'll see that if we put this in front, we can actually create quite the effect. So we get this close, the closer we are here, and you can see the effect that we're getting, we're seeing the stress on the actual material. And look, if I move this around a little bit, we can create a really wacky change in the background. I'm gonna go for something that's a really deep blue. And there's my first picture. I'm gonna do other ones really quick. Here's my cellophane that is just a little bit crumply. Place that right there, have it leaning. Oh, let's get that in the middle. So grab your sunglasses, put it there, and oh, that's crazy. That looks like a sculpture. Right there, click. Let's try a different background. You'll see I'm getting some lens flare. I've got some apps that I can work with that'll fix that. This is a little tiny plastic cup that I literally just cut with a pair of scissors. Carefully place that there. Oh, let's center that. Let's do a better job with our composition. Grab our sunglasses. Oh, I like the color coming in. So I'm gonna just, there we go. This, this has a little bit of style to it. Right there, let's turn the glasses and see what we can get. There we go, that's looking pretty good right there. All right, now that you're done taking your pictures with these different materials, the goal is just to do the editing like you normally would in Snapseed, and we'll do that next. We're gonna open up our image in Snapseed, and then we're going to go to Tools, and we're going to tune the image. We're only gonna do a couple things here. We're gonna use the contrast, and because we used contrast, we're gonna also have to go back in and fix it up just a little bit with saturation. 
Once those pieces are done, we're going to go in and we're going to add a little bit of detail to our image. So this is just structure and sharpness so that we can see the edges. After that, we're going to go square for our crop, which is like an Instagram thing. Then we're going to go in heel. The heel tool in Snapseed is actually pretty good. There are some paid ones that we could use, but this one does the job. To finish it off, we're going to add a nice little frame and we're going to consider this job done. Export it out to a final version.